Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Well, hey there, Pisces. How the heck you feeling out there, Pisces? Huh? How you feeling? I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing well. Let's throw some cards for... Ooh, look at that. Let's throw some cards for the Collective of Pisces. If you're new to the channel, come on in. Snuggle up to this table and let's talk about some things. If you're returning to the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is for you, about you, and I couldn't do it without you. All y'all subscribe to the channel. The statistics on my YouTube dashboard say that of all the people that watch these videos, only half of you are subscribed. So if you would do me a solid and subscribe to the channel, help push those numbers up a little bit, it inspires me to be motivated to keep doing this for everybody. So if you're a regular watcher who hasn't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. All right, let's do it, you guys. Let's throw it down for Pisces. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. I'm going to thoroughly confuse the heck out of you, and I'm going to sew together a story, okay? Let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me, Spirit, and they want to know what you know. What do you know about this particular Pisces, and what does this particular Pisces need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where that stopping point is for Pisces. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Spirit, what does right there Pisces need to know? All right, let's do it, Pisces. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the magician. Fabulous. The world in reverse, the seven of wands, the prince of swords, Ten of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Swords, the Tower in reverse, in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Tower in reverse, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Empress. That will all make hella sense in just a second. First card out the box is the Star Pisces. Absolutely fan freaking tastic. All right, Pisces, this is what's happening right here, okay? This is what's happening. So this is a reoccurring theme in my Pisces readings for the past couple readings now. And somebody out there needs to get with the program because we need a change of pace here. And they keep repeating to you in a variety of different ways the same kind of story because somebody's not getting it. Somebody out there in the Pisces world that is watching this video right now needs to comply <laughs> with universal order. Perhaps they keep repeating this because the person who needs to hear it has not hit on my channel yet and saw one of these Pisces videos, but this is a, a reiteration of the same message that I have been getting for the Pisces for probably two or three readings now, Pisces, okay? It's very important that you internalize this information and get on board with universal order. If you need your cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. Get your cards read by someone. If it's not me, someone that you trust, because there is a huge, gigantic thing trying to come into your life, Pisces, but whomever this is, is not getting it. So here we go, okay? So the star, 
Major Arcana, first card out, speaking to you, sets the tone for the whole reading. The star is about your path and your purpose, Pisces, the renewal of your life, the way that universal order needs to take place, your destiny, okay? The first card out the box says your destiny, your path, your purpose to the Hierophant. The Hierophant for you here on top of the star is begging you, asking you, please, please, please take what it is that we're trying to guide you towards and act accordingly. Spiritual wisdom, spiritual strength, not to mention on the superficial level, commitment. There is some kind of committed opportunity that is trying to come into your life, Pisces to the sun. It is your path. It is your purpose. It is long, steady, stable. It is everything that you are trying to manifest. It's the path to happiness, success, and vitality. And part of that path to happiness, success, and vitality is the healing of the inner child in the sun card. So what they need you to understand, they need you to decipher through your spiritual wisdom, through your connection to source, the direction that they're trying to push your life, because it's going to lead you into a great, great deal of solid success. Okay? It's the problem. There's always a problem, right? Well, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Pisces isn't cooperating. Pisces is lacking the desire to do what universal order needs them to do. Seven of Cups in reverse. Because they're in some kind of delusional state of being. What's the definition of delusional? Believing something that's not true. What's standing in Pisces' way of divine, beautiful, universal order taking place in your life? is your delusion. You are believing something about yourself, perhaps, that is not true, and it's standing in the way. To the page of wands in reverse, nothing can come through while this, this thickened membrane is surrounding this particular Pisces life, okay? Page of wands in reverse is about a lack of effort, a lack of trying, a lack of emphasis, Okay, the delusion, which is going to be revealed to you in the second row, that Pisces is holding on to, this belief system that is not true, causes this particular Pisces to not want to participate. And what they're not seeing is that this is your destiny. Okay, the three of swords need to let go of grief and sorrow and pain that you are carrying in your mind. Uh-huh. Strength comes on top of it and talks about overcoming it, having the strength and the courage to overcome this delusional belief right here that that is holding you back from everything that is supposed to, in universal order, take place in your life. You are a thread in the divine tapestry of universal order, Pisces. Your destiny is written in the stars. You have free will to steer your ship any direction that you want to, but your destiny is written in the stars and your destiny is trying to come through to you. But Pisces is holding something in their mind that is keeping them apathetic to participating in it. Okay. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is, is trying to control a situation. It's betrayal. It's deception. It's a mindset. The guy in this card is stealing, right? He's getting away with something. Okay. So the mindset of this particular Pisces is a mindset of control. Okay, I have all the swords. Nobody has any swords, so nobody can hurt me. Chariot in reverse is the root of this. The chariot in the reverse says that, that it's a hard stop for the universe. The universe cannot escort you into the next phase of your life while you are holding on to this mindset of the seven of swords. 
Mm -hmm. it, it just can't. It cannot and will not intervene in your free will. Source cannot intervene in your free will. Your participation with your spirituality, with your soul's journey, with the destiny of your life must, must, must come from your own free will desire to open the doors and let it happen. Yep, yep, yep. What needs to happen here for this particular Pisces is death. There needs to be an absolute ending to this self-protection mindset that this delusional internal narrative that keeps Pisces in a place of uncooperation with universal order. An absolute ending ending a death to the way that you're thinking about things and a transformation into what should be and will be for your life. Look, the fool comes on top of that. Brand new beginning, brand new journey, but they need you to level up your spirituality, Pisces. What, what is the leveling up of your spirituality? What does that mean? Well, this particular Pisces is holding on to some kind of idea of what it should be. What is the leveling up of your spirituality? Well, you see, the fool doesn't, doesn't have an itinerary. The fool doesn't know the who, what, where, when, why, or how things are going to shake down. All the fool knows is he feels movement in his soul and he responds. He responds. He steps off the cliff. He doesn't know if it's six inches or six feet, but he does know that whatever direction that his soul is asking him to go in is the direction of his very best and highest good. And he doesn't question it. He doesn't argue with it. And that's part of the transformation of the death right there. And that is this, this delusional mindset, this internal self-narrative that keeps repeating over and over and over again in this particular Pisces life. This internal narrative needs to be left behind. And I'm going to tell you in just a second what that is. All right. So the fool is about not understanding but doing it anyway. The, this transformation of death, when you bring this mindset to an end, leads you directly into your life's destiny. Mm -hmm. The two of wands, the future. You are at a crossroads for your future. The knight of pentacles. And you're too slow, Pisces. You're too slow. They need you to take action in order for everything to fall together because your destiny is connected to the other thing that is in this reading. And if you don't get on board, they can't get on board. And then all of the butterfly effect of everything is just kept in suspended animation, waiting for this Pisces to let go of a self-protective mindset so universal order can dictate the flow of everything. The Ace of Pentacles, it's a brand new opportunity. Brand new opportunity, not from the past, not back with the person that you broke up from, not back to the job that you used to have. It is a brand new opportunity. But you see the seeds of this Ace of Pentacles can't grow in your life in the dirt that is your mindset right now. Three of Wands to the Three of Wands. See the forest through the trees so you can begin to get ready for what's coming. Three of Wands, prepare, get ready. Those ships of your destiny are on the, they're in the harbor, but they're all anchored and they're just waiting for you to drop the veil so they can come through. What is going on here? Well, the high priestess in reverse, right? This is this is this is Pisces. The card of Pisces is the high priestess, right? Um, this is Pisces being out of sorts, 
out of touch with their soul, out of touch with their intuition, an inability to heal some kind of situation that has, that has them in this delusional mindset that keeps them from putting in the effort in their life, in their internal workings that the universe needs you to get on board with. It's unhealed energy. What's it about? The Six of Cups. Family, home, nostalgia, memories, children to the Four of Swords in reverse, mentally restless about a lack of success. This Seven of Swords self-protective mindset, this internal narrative of some kind of delusional belief system is the reason that Pisces does not want to engage, okay? Something in your past, King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Something in your past has you in a mindset that you're, you don't want a relationship. You don't need a relationship. Everybody that you've ever chosen to be in a relationship with was incapable of being the King of Pentacles to your Queen of Pentacles. Perhaps this internal self-narrative, this wounded child internal narrative is telling you that you're not good enough for a King of Pentacles. And granted, you may have all through your past chosen people out of your basic boxed in human understanding that were not in your best and highest good. But if you will take the position of the fool, close your eyes, Feel your ancient soul that was here before you took your first breath in this meat suit. It will be here to pick up when the meat suit wears out. It lives within you right now, your ancient higher self that knows the path, that knows the purpose, that knows the direction of your best and highest good. If you will listen to that, it will lead you to exactly where and who you need to be. On a surface level, this King of Pentacles in reverse is controlling, immature, domineering energy that could have been the person that you were with before. But, you know, I think it's this Seven of Cups in reverse right here. It's this internal self-narrative of a lack of worth. What's, what's going on here? Well, the chariot in the center of the reading Put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to do what it is that you have to do so the universe can escort you to a brand new chapter of your life, the Six of Wands. Overcome the battle so the rest of your life can be successful. What's the battle? Well, this whole mindset of self-protection that's going on keeps you from participating and cooperating with universal order. What's coming your way is an emperor to your empress on the bottom of the deck right there. The emperor to the empress, the lovers, a highly, highly attuned, connected relationship. See, the emperor comes behind the empress and creates in the physical world what the empress has created in her internal world. This person for you is going to be the yin to your yang. This person is going to complement you in every way. You are going to complement this person, the emperor in the empress joined together by the lover's card is an incredible high frequency high vibing successful relationship yes the magician all you got to do is manifest it what's preventing the manifestation is the mindset that's what's preventing the manifestation see the magician has all four elements under control all four elements he has his emotions focused at heart center he has gone through and and sorted through all of his bullshit and he has complete control of his emotions he has complete control of his insecurities he has complete control of his desires his flesh is under control his humanness is under control and he has control of his mind 
because your mind creates your reality. In the internal self-narrative of judgment in reverse, your self-doubt is what is blocking the manifestation of this beautiful, divinely orchestrated, destined relationship, Pisces. Whether it's work or love, your mindset is blocking the manifestation of this relationship in your life. The King of Cups, that's this person. This person is the Emperor and the King of Cups, a soul mate, dare I say. This person, you are supposed to come into their life, they are supposed to come into your life. Is it forever and always to the end of time, amen? Who knows, it depends on how everybody acts. But it's extremely, extremely important that you engage in this relationship. So universal order can be fulfilled in your life. Universal order can be fulfilled in their life. And the butterfly effect of the two of you coming together can take place. To the hangman in reverse. Your delays, your stalling, your resistance is gumming up the whole machine, Pisces. And they need you to get on board with your destiny. To the Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions, justice. They need you to come out of this delusional, emotional frame of mind. And they need you to choose in the Seven of Cups. They need you to be accountable with the justice card for your emotional state of being. It's in your best interest. Justice is always good, right, proper, and in your best interest. And they need you to step out of a delusional internal self-narrative that says you can't have an empress, emperor, lovers, magician relationship. They need you to heal yourself because you are mentally occupied by something that did not work in the past. The Eight of Wands. This changes everything. Your participation, your change of mindset changes everything. In order to change everything, the Five of Wands in reverse, they need you to stop avoiding the responsibility of opening up your mind. And they need you to have an increased focus on your goals. To the Queen of Wands. This is the posture. This is what's going to take you into this next phase of your life. This Queen of Wands is someone with eyes on the prize. She's very spiritually attuned, extremely spiritually attuned. And she has the drive and the ambition to overcome obstacles. She has the drive and the ambition, the desire to dig in, come to terms with the unhealed energy inside of her and focus with laser precision on what it is that she needs to do in her life to get things accomplished. And that's where they need you to be, Pisces. Why? Two of Cups, to the Knight of Cups. So you can be in a steady, stable, emotional place of giving and receiving some kind of emotional connection. The Two of Cups in some kind of very serious union with another person. This could be love. It could be money and career. The Hermit. Soul searching, introspection, deep, deep, deep look, deep down inside of yourself, Pisces. Sit down and have an out loud, crazy person conversation with whatever it is you're calling your higher power. It's all source energy, but we name it all kinds of funny things. Whatever it is that you call it, sit down and have an out loud conversation talk about things. Let them lead you, guide you, and show you. What are you going to find out in this hermit energy? Well, the eight of wands in reverse. You're going to find out if you will ask deeply, deeply what it is that your hang up is. Uh-huh. 
You, 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 will, you will find this out to the tower. What it is that keeps you continuously building on foundations that can't bear the weight of what it is that you're trying to build in your life. You see, every relationship that you have been in up to this point right here today has been chosen from your flesh and bone experience in this lifetime. It has been chosen from the childhood woundings. It has been chosen from a place of not being connected with source energy. And it all crumbles. Everything that we try to build outside of our deep spiritual understanding crumbles because the human humans are just, we're, 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 we're ignorant. And we choose things that are a replication of our childhood woundings, thinking that somehow we can make right in our life what was wrong in our past. Hence the Six of Cups and the Four of Swords in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. Of course, all of your previous relationships have crumbled somehow because it's the blind leading the blind. The wounded child choosing a wounded child to try to make better what was wrong in the past. Yes, the Nine of Wands says fight the good fight. Resilience, persistence, pushing forward. Fight the good fight, Pisces. Fight against your dissatisfaction with your previous relationships that have caused an immense amount of self-doubt where you think that you're not viable, you think no one else is viable, the whole thing is a shit show. Fight against that. To the Nine of Pentacles, stand in your power and bring a gigantic death, bring a gigantic culmination to the way that you've always done things and surrender and submit your, your existence to universal order. Mm-hmm. 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 To the Two of Pentacles, prioritize this and it will bring balance to your life the two of swords in reverse at a very serious crossroads that you're not seeing real clearly to the six of swords leave behind the mental baggage that is the weights around your ankles to the star again second time so universal order can take place in your life your path your purpose and the renewal of everything you will be restored tenfold, Pisces. What you think you've lost in your human understanding, if you will step into your soul's guidance and your soul's understanding, you will be restored tenfold what you think you've lost. The King of Wands. There's the King of Wands to that Queen of Wands right there, right? You guys are a perfect match. Your person has done the work. Your person is ready for you. We just need to get you ready for your person. But I'm here to tell you, Pisces, your person is not going to come into your life off of your basic human flesh and bone understanding of things. S connect the dots to all of your past relationships to your childhood. Because this particular Pisces that I'm talking to is has repeated in their life over and over and over again their childhood woundings in their romantic relationships because it is it's textbook, psycho psychology textbook stuff that we choose the same kind of people as our parents. And some of y'all had great parents. Some of y'all didn't have great parents. And just because you had great parents doesn't mean they were a great husband or a great wife, okay? Your person has done their work. You need to do your work, step over the tower and step into your destiny. The high priestess says, let it be the healed Pisces. The healed Pisces is going to be the queen of wands to the king of wands, the emperor to the empress. 
to the Two of Wands in reverse. At a crossroads for your future. Your future cannot be built. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep doing the same thing. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is if you keep doing what you always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. And the Two of Wands in reverse says, this isn't your future. Your future can't be built like this. To the Eight of Pentacles, work on it. Work it out. Build stronger. Build better. Figure out what it is that you are duplicating all over your life because it's textbook psychology stuff that where we have an emotional wounding in our childhood, our emotions never truly develop from that point. So someone here is running their whole emotional show from the perspective of some seven-year-old child. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. That seven-year-old child is duplicating in your adult life what was, what was wrong in your childhood. Waiting, expecting the healed, grown Pisces to heal it, but this particular Pisces just keeps letting it be abused. Work on it. Work it out. Work on it. Make it better. The Four of Wands. So you can have the kind of life that you should have, Pisces. A, a soul-guided life. The King of Cups. Yes. Ancient soul. Ancient, ancient soulmate connection is trying to break through in your life. Death in reverse. But you got to do some serious internal purging in order to have a serious internal transformation that will transform your whole life. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What do you got to purge, Pisces? What's the internal purging? It didn't work before. It's not going to work now. I don't trust myself to choose someone that is in my best and highest good. Mm -hmm. I have self-doubt. I have a lack of self-worth. My previous relationship or relationships have left a salty, nasty taste in my mouth about partnerships or love. No, this is what needs to be purged, Pisces. You, being the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, needs to be purged. Five of Swords, holding on to that mindset with a white-knuckle grip. Win-it-all-costs mindset. What's that win-it-all-costs mindset? It's the delusion of the Seven of Cups in reverse up here. That, that keeps you from putting in effort to expand your horizons, level up your spirituality, and be open to universal order. But you have, to, you have to be open to universal order without expectations. You can't say, I want someone six foot five, blue eyes in finance. You can't do that. You have to allow universal order to take root in your life because you might get someone five foot two that's losing their hair that is a bus driver but you know what it's the soulmate you cannot box your soulmate into your expectations so whomever this king of cups double king of cups emperor is that wants to needs to manifest in your life you cannot hold it to expectations. And I think that's part of the delusion of the Seven of Cups in reverse. Maybe you are demanding it be someone completely and totally opposite of anything that you've ever encountered in your life. Universal order will bring to you what it is that is part of your destiny, whether you agree with it or not. And if you don't agree with the way that the universe is doing things, it's just going to keep going and you're just going to stand still. White knuckle grip on a win at all cost mindset. It has to be my way or the highway. And that's going to get you nowhere. It's going to keep you right where you are, Pisces. And your whole everything is going to bypass this. Your destiny can't be combined with this person's destiny and the butterfly effect of everything that the two of you will, will overflow onto everyone else throughout the course of time can't take place if you don't participate, if you don't manifest universal order without expectations. The wheel in reverse, they're blocked. They can't, they can't go. They can't move, Pisces. Time stands still for no one. And you're either going to 
change the way that you are processing life. Hop on to your spiritual journey, follow your soul's guidance, and flip this wheel of fortune in the upright, or you're not, and there is no middle ground. The world will tell you all day long that you can have one foot on both sides of the fence. But you know who runs this world, right? The devil. The devil is the representation in the tarot of your flesh nature, just as much as the high priestess is the representation of your soul nature. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Your flesh nature and the, the, the world that we live in, which is dominated by the ego, will tell you all day long, you can do whatever you want to in universal order. Your destiny is still going to take place. And that's just not freaking true. It's just not. You have to align your frequency with universal order in order for universal order to take place in your life. A spiritual journey is all in or all out. You can't be sometimes spiritual and sometimes not. If you're going to talk the talk, you better be prepared to walk the walk. The universe is blocked. It cannot move in your life because it cannot go against your free will. And your free will is your internal self-narrative blocking all of this beautiful, beautiful life that you have waiting for you. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The universe wants to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path to put you in the position of the Ten of Pentacles. That goes right back with the Hierophant. Solid, steady, stable for the whole rest of everything. There is no better vehicle to get the soul's job done than a, than a, than a happy human. This is where they want to take you. They want to take you to the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, a turning point in your destiny. They want to take you to a Queen of Wands, Queen, Queen of Wands, King of Wands relationship, Emperor, Empress relationship, the path of happiness, success, vitality, commitment, long, steady, stable, the divinely orchestrated steps of your path, justice, transformation after transformation happening in this reading. The high priestess, they want you to tap into your soul's understanding of things. But we have a Pisces here that is just bound and determined that it's going to be their way or no way at all. And if that's this Pisces and you don't change, you're just going to keep getting everything you've ever gotten because you're doing it the same way you've always done it. Page of Pentacles comes on top of that wheel in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Pentacles says we need new ground to grow the seeds that need to grow in your life, Pisces. We need new ground. The real estate is being occupied in your subconscious mind by something that is not in your best and highest good. Change the way that you think about life and you will change your life bottom of the deck the empress to this emperor where'd he go where'd he go where's this emperor right here here he is here he is oh the king of cups well that works too here he is the emperor the lovers the magician the empress beautiful absolutely beautiful this is what universal order has in store for you pisces right ten of pentacles in reverse but it can't bring it until you decide that you're going to allow it to happen. The Six of Wands, overcome the battle. The Tower in reverse, stand up, brush yourself off and say, well, no wonder all my relationships has, have failed in the past because I'm doing it wrong. I'm choosing people based on my ego. I'm choosing people based on my woundings. Of course it's not going to be successful. Stand up, brush yourself off, and have a big, gigantic new perspective with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Unlock your mind. Unlock your mind from the Ten of Cups in reverse that it can't ever be. Unlock your mind from constantly obsessing about how something didn't work out and it's not worth the effort. It's not worth being vulnerable. 
unlock your mind. Look, the Prince of Swords, wrap your mind around this understanding and execute it in your life. To the Seven of Wands, stop backing up from everything, the world in reverse, because you're repeating cycles over and over and over again. The Seven of Wands is someone who is not dealing with something. You see, he's backing up. He's backing up from whatever it is that he has to deal with. Hold on, I need that Eight of Wands. Where'd it go? I want to show you something here. Where's the Eight of Wands? I saw it, it was in here somewhere. Hold on, here it is. Okay, okay, see? Now, the Seven of Wands, this guy's backing up. You see him? He's beating off whatever it is that's coming towards him. He's like, please just stop, just stop. I don't want to deal with this. Just go away. The big internal transformation of the Eight of Wands comes on top of this, and there's a change in this guy in the Seven of Wands, and he changes into the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands says, bring it. I dare you to bring it. I dare you. I have, I, I will deal with you. I will deal with you. Seven of Wands is, please, I don't want to deal with this. Gigantic internal change and leads you to the Nine of Wands, which is, I'm going to deal with this. Resilience, persistence, fighting the good fight, right? To the world in reverse. This is the recipe to flip this world card in the upright because the world in reverse says you just repeating cycles over and over and over again this wounded child cycle over and over and over again in your life when are you going to see that if you don't deal with it nothing is ever going to change deal with it so everything can change flip the world in the upright close this long standing cycle out of your life step into the transform the transformation of the fool and death to the magician which was on the bottom of the deck uh-huh. Manifestation begins with controlling your mind. If your mind is out of control, you cannot manifest. That's right. This guy in this alchemist card takes all of the four elements that make up the human nature that the tarot is based off of, earth, water, air, and fire. He takes all of those elements, his mind, his emotions, his sense of well-being, and his desires. And he brings them heart center, and he points them outwards towards what it is that he wants to create in his life. And if your mind's not under control and your emotions aren't under control and your flesh isn't under control and your insecurities aren't under control, you're just all willy-nilly all over the place, grasping at straws and taking whatever it is that comes your way. No, 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 no. You have the power to create any kind of reality that you want to live in. And in the magician card is the recipe for you to manifest the kind of reality that you want. This reading is a roadmap to get yourself in a position to be the empress to the emperor, the king of wands to the queen of wands, a king of pentacles in the upright to a queen of pentacles in the upright. This is what the universe wants to bring into your life, Pisces. If you need your cards read, you can hit me up again at thepathpurpose.org. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with 
with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.